All right, don't ever drink in bed. I knew better than doing this, but I did it anyway. I was on vacation last week with my family, sitting poolside. I'd had a couple cocktails, scrolling through my dealer app. You'll see right there, my C8 Corvette is not there anymore. So I have all my money from my C8, just sitting waiting for my E-Ray to show up in a bank account. Well, scrolling through the auction, I'm like, okay, I'll bid on that car. Accidentally spent 80,000 plus dollars on a $100,000 car, which I think is a good deal, but I don't even know if I made a good decision or maybe I made a mistake, I don't know. Today, you guys are gonna come find out what I bought for $80,000, $30,000 less than MSRP on this 2022 car, which is 3,000 miles. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. I think you're gonna be disappointed in this one and I hope I don't regret it. Let's get going. I sold my C8 Corvette that I waited for over a year for, owned for 13 months, and I bought something that I don't really know that I even want. It was very spontaneous. I'm excited, but I'm also not excited. I think I have buyer's remorse, but it's too late because I already paid $88,000 for this car. Today, you're gonna come with me to find out if I made a mistake. What did I buy? I'm gonna find that out alongside with me as well. First world problems, sometimes I'm nervous. I wanna preface this story because I'm nervous, I'm slightly disappointed, but I'm also extremely, extremely excited to pick up this vehicle and I'm not yet going to tell you what it is. I will say that I got it for literally $30,000 less than MSRP and it only has 3,000 miles on it. It's a 2022 that I looked at over the summer. I wanted to buy. I had cold feet. I waited and now I just bought it for $30,000 less than I wanted it for back in August, which is amazing. Today's video, I'm also going to explain to you how I did it, why I did it, save $30,000 that is, and how you can do it yourself. Okay, without further ado, do I am right up the street from the dealership it's a near brand new car but it's pre-owned let's go see what they have and let's go check it out before we get there tell me if you can figure out this license plate because it's driving me nuts all right that car in front of me a n l s q5 anal gif anal skive a n l s q5 anal am i thinking the wrong thing anal squiff and anal squive anals Q5? I'm lost. Forget it. Let's go pick up my new car. All right, hint number one. Is it an Audi or is it a Porsche? Let's find out which way am I going to turn. Camera off. All right, so let me first explain the backstory. I am at Porsche and Audi of Stratum. These guys have been great to me. I own lots and lots of Audis. I have been an Audi fanatic my whole life since I got my first car. My best friend had a 99 A4 six-speed 2.8 in bright blue. It was awesome. I loved it as a kid. I've always loved Audis. This right here is a Porsche Panamera 4 four-door supercar if you get it in the turbo model. They're unbelievable. They also make a Porsche Taycan, which is this right here. This is their first all-electric car, which is incredible. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, I owned one of these over a year ago, and my mother and I did a cannonball run for a television show called Charge Across America, where we were the first to LA from New York, but we didn't win. You gotta watch the whole episode. I'm not gonna tease anything, but it is out there if you wanna look up Charge Across America. My mother and I were the first ever to race across the country in a cannonball run in a 100% electric vehicle. We did a Porsche Taycan when I got to LA. I sold it for a profit. I actually really enjoyed the car a lot. I can tell you though, the charging infrastructure across the country is just not where it needs to be. Like we were waiting for periods of well over an hour in Walmart parking lots in the rain for our car to charge when we, we ran out of power, like literally ran out of electricity in, in or battery, had a dead battery in Ohio on the turnpike and had to get charged by an elect, by a diesel generator to get to the next charging station. It was a disaster, but I did love that car. It was one of the best cars I've ever owned after the fact. I thought I'd hate it. I ended up loving it and I miss it, but that isn't what we bought. Ooh, an RS5. I do love RS5s, but I don't want the three liter. I want the 4OT, which only comes in the RS7 and the S6 and the RS6 and the Urus and the SQ8 and the A8L, but that isn't any of what we bought either. All right, let's see what's here. 911 Carrera S. This is a 911 Turbo S. So this is as good as it gets, really. Wow. We have a GT3 here as well. Yeah, Porsche Stratum's no joke. They get the real stuff. And another 911 Turbo S. I love the lugs on these cars. Look at that. So cool. They get the real stuff. And eventually I'm going to get a Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo, which is their EV like Sportback. Sam Core, it's my guy. You guys ever were interested in a Porsche? Porsche Stratum, Sam Core. Watches our videos, so I appreciate it. And you know, they get some cool stuff. All right, with that being said, it is not at Porsche. It is right there. I started this by saying that I am an Audi fan. I am an Audi aficionado. I did get an Audi. Is it a new AA? 
8L? Is it a new S8? Is it an RS7? Is it an RS6? All of which I want and are on my list and all of which have an incredible power. I can tell you, you're probably gonna be disappointed. Like, I don't think you're gonna be as excited as I kind of am right now when you see what I bought. I'm really not sure. And if you follow me on Instagram, I have chatted about this car in the past. I've made posts about it as well. All right, I'm here a lot, obviously. This is my A8. L has 450 horsepower, twin turbo in a V8, and it's all wheel drive. It is a rocket ship and it is incredibly, incredibly comfortable and luxurious. Like those seats are just so plush and comfortable. But my favorite is in the back. Oh, I just said, this is my car. This isn't the car I bought. This is the car I drove here. This isn't the car, the surprise. This is my car that I drive every single day. Look at how there's a full center console and it folds down and it's just glamorous. It has all LED strips here. It has a vanity mirror here. It has a rear sunroof. It has like, this is the L, so it's the long, has so much leg room, and it has 450 horsepower. Same engine as a Lamborghini Urus, is capable of 600 horsepower with a downpipe and a tune. It's unbelievable. I also have an S6, I'll show you later on, that has the same engine. Lighter car, capable of the same 600 horsepower easily. Not the car I bought. Let's go into the Audi dealership so I can stop teasing you. All right, if you follow me on Instagram, this is an Audi e-tron GT in red. This is an electric car, all-wheel drive. Is there all-wheel drive Porsche Taycan? This is the Audi version. It's the sister car of this car, and I love it in red. I got it down from MSRP was $123,600. We got them down to $98,000 if I make videos and with discounts and with incentives and with tax credits. This is still not the car, although I love this red and I love this interior, not the car. We have another e-tron GT here, another RS5 right here. Now, if you guys have not seen, I've said the Lamborghini Urus multiple times already, which I will have one day. Mark my words, I will work my flipping $400 to a Ferrari into a Lamborghini Urus. If you cannot afford an Urus, the Audi RS Q8 is literally one step down. Same power, same engine, same drivetrain, gigantic rotors, gigantic wheels. Unbelievable, I hope they have one. They even come in like blues and greens and yellows and it's pretty amazing. I hope they have one here. I wanna show you while they're pulling up my car. Look you know how wide the rear end is in this e-tron. Okay, I have my books. I have my two keys to my new car. I wanna see what MSRP is. I paid 81.5 on it. We're gonna find out what MSRP was back in August right now because here's the window sticker. 103,895. All right, here is the second key for it. Is it an RS Q8? Is it an S8? Is it an RS7? All of cars I want, what is it going to be? They're pulling it around right now. Here it comes. Nope, that's not it. They're pulling it around in just a second. Here's why I love Audis. Again, not my car. If this was for sale, it would be. I wish this was up there for sale. This is a sweet car. Wow. Teaser. This is not my car. I have three kids, right? I ski, I carry a bunch of stuff. This is on that list of cars I want. They're just such a beautiful wagon. It's weird to say that a wagon is pretty, and here it is. That is an incredible, incredible car. There she is. 2022 Audi e-tron GT EV all-wheel drive. Appreciate that very much. Seems like you made out in uh, Barrett-Jackson pretty well. All right, so before I dive into this car, Keith from Audi is awesome. He's my sales rep. Every time I'm looking at something, he's great. So, Kyle? Oh shoot, Kyle or Keith? No, Keith. Anyway, the guy that was just on, if he was on camera, awesome guy. He helped me with this car. This is the one I drove back in August. Guy bought it. He buys cars every six months. Traded in, bought another Audi. I bought this one from them. Why is there an e-tron GT here that I bought wholesale instead of them retailing it? They already have two that aren't selling, to be quite honest with you. So I bought this one. I really wanted that red one. I just found out. Now, when I bought this at auction, it didn't give you the MSRP slip, so I couldn't see the options of the car. So I just found out the red one is actually $23,000 more than this one because that's a prestige. This is a premium plus. So you get like a lot more options with that one. Still an incredible car. Let's go inside of it. Okay, so we have Alcantara interior with leather combination. I wonder if the original floor mats are hopefully there. Wood grain plastic on the inside. Now, you guys might be disappointed in this car. I really feel like I should have bought a Tesla. Like I could have had a Model X or a Model S Plaid for this much money, but it was spontaneous. I was sitting by the pool on vacation with my family last week, had a couple drinks and like bid. Finally, I was the high bidder and negotiated back and forth because I didn't meet the reserve and I ended up getting it. Now it is a five passenger. I have three kids and I'm married, so it's helpful for me. I have the 20 inch wheels, which is great all around. They are staggered front and rear. Is this the same wide rear end as the red? Yes, those are wide, wide tires. Okay, I do have the floor mats, which is great. Now, shout out to ACV Auctions. Now I own a dealership. I have a dealer's license. It makes it a lot easier for me to buy cars at wholesale. For example, I was negotiating on that red e-tron 
Chevron GT back in December and then in January and kind of still because I wanted it. Now I come across ACV auctions and ACV has the next car that I'm buying and it's significantly less than what it was back in August. So it was $128,000 back in August. So the car I wanted back last summer is now up at wholesale auction. So this dealership here ran it through the auction and I ended up buying it for 80,000 and change dollars. And it is significantly less than what MSRP is with 3000 miles and it's a 2022. So we showed you the MSRP on the red e-tron GT premium plus it was $123,000. We negotiated back and forth, brought it down to 120, brought it to like nine, like near a hundred. And they were really trying to help me. That's a great price, especially when everything's selling at MSRP. EVs, everyone's a little afraid of EVs. Oh, there's an SQ7 right now. That has a four liter twin turbo as well. Everyone's slightly afraid of EVs now, like in the cold, the batteries are draining, the infrastructure's on air, it's hard to charge. Not to mention, I don't have a charger at my house, so I don't know what I'm gonna do once this thing is dead. There's a lot of variables here. But anyway, I bought this one, like 81,500, and it was in New Hampshire, right up the road for me. All why? Because I didn't just pull the trigger on something that I wanted. It's a want versus need thing. Like, yeah, I want it. I need it when it's the right price. And now I can drive it and enjoy it and have fun with it until I don't anymore. And when I'm done with it, I can sell and break even. You know, even if I lose a little bit, which I won't at this price, I still got to enjoy enjoy it and have fun with it and learn about it and make videos about it. Different topic. This is an SQ8, not an RSQ8. So this is one step down. So it goes Urus, RSQ8, SQ8. These cars are amazing. Same engines, but these have like 450 horsepower, like down tuned V8 twin turbo instead of the like down pipe tuned differently. Insane car. What's cool is this car has been running the whole time. It is so comfortable. Wow. Look at the interior of this. I actually, there's so much I need to learn about this thing. Like I can't, is it running right now? Is it not running? Okay, now it's running. How does the power steering work? Do you need to put in a reverse for the power steering to work? Yep, there we go. I need to put in a reverse, okay. There are going to be a lot of hiccups with this car. There's a lot of like hate in the EV world. So a lot of you guys might hate this car, but I'm gonna make some more videos about it. We're gonna learn about it. We're gonna learn to see if I like it. If I if I hate it, what's the infrastructure like? So we have 242 miles of range, which is great. They didn't give it to me on a dead battery because otherwise I would be stuck. Because I bought it wholesale, I didn't get it certified pre-owned. So it's no like extended warranty. It's just a regular 50,000 mile warranty. I have to work on getting a charger made at my house. Otherwise I'm gonna be driving to um, Amplify Americas or whatever they are, charge across Americas all over the state to keep this car charged. All right, what are your opinions? I told you, I know some of you are disappointed that I bought an EV. There's a lot of people that hate EVs. I have my twin turbo V8 S6. Now I have an EV. I really don't need both. So if somebody wants the S6 or the A8, they're both for sale on my website, www.flyingashwheels.com. Just a shameless plug right there. If somebody wants those incredible cars, this one, I'm gonna enjoy it for a little bit, I think. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna give you reviews on like real world experiences because I am not an EV aficionado. I'm gonna learn by all of my mistakes and show you along the way. I could have bought a Model X Tesla or a Model S Plaid for the price that I paid for this car. And when you're buying a Tesla, you're buying a computer. This is actually a car. So the Tesla is a smarter choice, but we're gonna find out if I like this car. If you wanna learn more about them, subscribe down below. Thumbs ups are always appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios. Thank you